it's what I needed to facilitate the growth that I wanted to have, but didn't know how to go about doing it. I'm Aisha Williams from Toda Street Style. I am the owner, the designer, the head seamstress, and basically I am Toda Street Style. My brand um, caters to people who are interested or obey the mosaic law. So they would um, obey Torah. So that, that covers the Hebrew Israelites, um, Moorish people, as well as Muslims, who would um, prefer to wear clothing that, that doesn't disobey what the laws of Moshe prescribe. For example, um, mixing linen with wool. Because Torah is, is like almost a scientific book, it, it, it prescribes what you should and shouldn't wear. And so I provide what they can wear and so they won't have to worry about wearing things that they're not supposed to wear. Um, how I got into to making garments is that I was the personal seamstress for a teacher, um, Lama Jahu. And because he is so popular across the world, when he wore my clothing, people were interested. And what I do is that I take scripture and I translate it back into an ancient form of Hebrew called um, Paleo Hebrew or the Hebrew word pictures. Um, so I translate it back into the ancient languages and then I, I use it as the design for the garments. Every shape and form is frequency. So when you put the language on there, it actually changes the feel of the garment because it says something and it actually has a, a, a voice of its own because of what it's saying. Um, in the feeling of the garment. It, it, it brings more of a realness to the Hebrew Israelite movement when you can actually see your language and your clothing the way it was, you know, on your garments. And I think I'm the only person that does that in the city. I mainly export because obviously we don't have that many Hebrew Israelites in Trinidad. And because, well, that I know of. And because I started there and the people that wear my clothing are there. That's, that's basically who I sell to. Um, that's who I cater to. That's who I design for. Um, I would remind a local market. In fact, I'm trying to figure out how to tap into the local market. But in regards to the Hebrew Israelite stuff and the Moorish things, um, it's mainly export. I export to England, Australia, mostly the US, Ireland. The main places are usually England, Australia, the US. Most of my things go outside. I think I've built like one garment over the last two years for somebody over. My, my business right now is expanding um, and it's growing and you know, thankfully I'm able to create jobs and you know, be able to bring more people in to you know, do something that I consider very good. I think without fashion TT I would have given up because I was actually almost to the brink of giving up when fashion TV came. I had, the, I had the work, I had the work, but I had no structure. And I was literally killing myself trying to figure out how to get everything done. And what fashion TV did was give me structure. And I'm still learning, because I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not tech savvy. I can't get into computers that well, and I can't do a lot of stuff, but I'm learning while with fashion TT, and it's helping me like bring structure and organization and thought and planning and, and foresight to my business where I was able to actually quadruple my sales from the year before. Like probably even more than that actually. You know, so like it, it fashion TT was a lifesaver for me. Um, so I'm extremely, extremely grateful for this program because now I can actually see myself growing and even branching out into other avenues where I could still, you know, learn how to expand production and get into like manufacturing and that kind of thing. So I could, I'm able to not have to be the main one sewing and producing, but I know that they'll be there to guide me through that process on my own account. I, I couldn't have done it. I tried and it didn't do too well. <laughs> so I'm very grateful to Fashion TT for assisting me in, in you know, becoming a better man.